Good morning. How are you all doing? I hope everybody's doing good and hopefully you watched my last night's episode of Ultra Mall, which I did a special take, exclusive take on. I really, really feel that's one of my best in the arsenal. So, so the king of sweet fragrances. So talking about sweet fragrances, I thought I'd continue my merry way and bring you another sweet fragrance. Most of you have, uh, those who have seen my, the three sweet video, sweet fragrance videos earlier, like the, I think the last month or so, I brought this up and this is gonna be Pakurava Invictus, one of love it or hate it. And uh, it, 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 it's a very controversial, it's a very uh, interesting, um, controversial not in a sense very seriously but many people hate this fragrance many people say you cannot stand it and it's a typical you know sweet mess synthetic garbage but then i am on the other side of the boat and i think this is absolutely something else all right this is something that that can be your um, you know go-to guy when you need serious help all right so basically let's look at that fragrance all right so uh thing is for the house of pakuraban right this was like a fragrance i bought like i think this is my last pakuraban fragrance or one second last right i didn't feel like at first i wanted to get invictus you know because i was after one million the very ever so popular one million i got it used it a lot of it and i saw um one million is not one in a million anymore because the reformulation what whatever the reason was the the beast mode that the powerhouse thing was gone so basically I was, I, was, I was keep buying like you know sweet fragrances and I love sweet fragrances you know let's just admit it you know there's no shame in admitting what you love right many people they are like hey guys that's like juvenile that's like child stuff getting to more serious stuff you know there'll be a time for everyone you know people let people choose what they like right so I feel sweet thing is my sweetness is my thing you know like and the thing is if I would be saying that you know the ladies opinion don't matter the attention don't matter i'll be lying you know most of the people out there will be lying because you know honestly speaking the truth is ladies women are beautiful and they are the reason the world is beautiful you guys are doing putting all these efforts you guys are trying to look good impress ladies you know all these things you're doing because you want to get the attention of a lady you know that they're special right they're special creatures <laughs> bit you know mysterious because difficult to understand break the code sometimes but then yeah ladies are the reasons many of us wear fragrances you know the compliments so apart from that people usually like they're the other side of the boat people will be like you know we wear fragrance for the artistic aspect we wear fragrance for you know the notes breakdown the quality ingredients and all that so different people have the different thing right so yeah you know for those who love sweet fragrances let's just look into this all right so this particular fragrance you know uh, as i told you it's, it's featured before so i'm gonna bring it back just to do an exclusive take just to tell you a little bit more give you some idea those who don't you know own it or those who are cons considering buying this or maybe it's flankers all right so this one the date introduced is july 2013 and uh, it's edt concentration and it's i have a 50 ml bottle with me which i deeply regret i should have got the bigger 100 ml bottle or if there's a bigger one bucket size i would buy that and then um, it's uh, classified as citrus, marine, aromatic, spicy, that sort of a fragrance, okay? And uh, the price is around, I think, uh, if you pay retail, you're gonna have to pay about somewhere around 80 to 90 dollars, US dollars for the 100 ml. For a smaller bottle, I think it's around 60, I think around 60, 60 US dollars, 50 to 60 US dollars, all right? And then uh, there are a few flankers to this, like I think there's one flanker, which is a, uh, Invictus Aqua, which is, as you've seen in Jeremy's channel and a few other channels, you know, it's getting a little bit high and stuff. So that one is a frosted glass on that similar bottle, as well as this has a female counterpart, okay? Uh, I think it's a female version of Invictus. So the ladies one, they have one also. So, and one other thing, I have seen one other bottle that is a limited edition platinum or a silver edition limited edition that the whole body basically, that you can see through the juice. The whole body basically looks like the this is plastic though but the whole body looks like a metal so you can see through the juice base would be also i think uh maybe the metallic so basically the whole bottle but personally speaking i like to see the color of juice i like to see the level as well as the color of the juice so i prefer this bottle all right and then um yeah so basically yeah uh talking about uh other fragrances from the one pakuraman as you know they have um 
one million they have black excess excess they have uh, what else the Pakoraban Invictus they have few other sweet fragrances right so basically Pakorabans as I told you they and Jean Paul Gaultier they have a thing about sweetness they like to produce sweet fragrances mass crowd pleaser that sort of fragrance which would literally give them the best sellers in the markets so basically I think this is one of the best sellers right and I'll tell you shortly why okay so the notes in this all right it's uh, from Fragrantica I obtained they are grapefruit citruses sea notes bay leaf and uh, these are bay leaves by the way for those who haven't seen this one we used in our subcontinental cooking and I believe in Mediterranean cooking they also use this bay leaves all right showing from very close this is one of the uh, I don't know essentials in our cooking if it could be for meat yeah we use bay leaf all right very interesting note and then jasmine they said ambergris but no ambergris this is ambroxan because ambergris is much more expensive than the <laughs> bottle itself then patchouli oak moss gayakud all right so those are your notes so let me tell you my side of the story let me show you the presentation first the box actually kind of like not one of my favorite boxes it's kind of okay it has some wings I'll tell you I think the purpose of the wings golden wings it looks like angel right and if you see the campaign there's a dude like he's holding this like a trophy here very sort of like you know out there very very extrovert and very very out there good looking hunk all right so there's this uh, Invictus written Pakuraban EDT 50 ml bottom like this top you get your Pakuraban a logo and here Pakuraban it's like some information it's made in France all right side I think there's nothing much pretty like ash bluish color box like to show you the box because so you have some idea so the bottle this is one of the part where people hate this fragrance with the way the hatred basically starts basically it looks like this and the uh, sprayer is on top and uh, it says uh, here Invictus and then the side as you see is like a trophy you can see the juice is a glass base is like this bottom it gets your sticker and you um, hold it like this and you spray all right mm. <laughs> yeah this is gonna be my scent of the day by the way just done shower and all that yep and let me tell you the good things about this fragrance and I'll tell you the things you may not like about this fragrance all right so what are the good things about this fragrance the first thing the presentation wise as I told you I kind of like it I think they made it for a reason like to stand out in the crowd even though it looks juvenile and a bit funny and everything bottle design wise it, it, it you know beauty is in the eye of beholder right so basically people some people like it some people hate it I think it's fine it looks cool you know looks unique and stuff but what I really like is the spray it kind of sprays really nice the spray is very good laser like very one of the best sprayers all right you can spray a little bit and you can spray a lot so that's one of the things that you get from Chanel's and Dior's good quality sprayer gotta give mark for that right and I like the juice grayish bad boy devil sort of juice as I told you before this is a bad boy scent let me tell you right away this is a bad boy scent okay if you're a bad boy not a bad guy I mean if you're a bad guy you would be in murders and you know stealing stuff from people no, I don't know I don't see this guy would be stealing hearts all right so good things about the fragrance the opening top note it has this thing you know they came out recently as I told you the aqua version right for me it was a redundant kind of feel just my personal opinion it was a redundant uh, release just to cash out more money and stuff just to give you an idea like oh there this is like winter version so you need a summer version you know like it's gonna be good for your summer hot countries this as I told you before this is a summer version of this already this one is a most versatile scent one of the most versatile scents if you know blue de Chanel if you know platinum egoist if you know Fahrenheit I would add this onto that list this one can be worn all year round this has elements for the summer so autumn spring winter fall all year long one of the best features of this fragrance okay 10 out of 10 for that feature and for the sprayer and the bottle presentation I'll give you 9 out of 10 maybe um, the box could have been a bit velvety or something I feel like you know I'm a bit greedy so yeah I need a little bit more to get impressed but then yeah 9 and 10 the smell absolutely beautiful the opening it's not it's sweet let me tell you right away it's sweet if you know yesterday's uh, ultramol I reviewed that one is different sweetness that is a different sweetness on a different level it has toned down 20% let's say it was 100 is ultramol let's say this is 80% 
20 percent stone down with what the c notes okay they mentioned the c notes or the the you know summer notes the water notes whatever yep they tone down that and add some salt to it on the opening so very interesting combo for people who are in the colder countries they're going to smell a little bit more of that sugary syrupy sweetness right up top it feels like there's some sort of fruit it, it gives you a little feel of Mont Blanc individual that sort of raspberry sort of fruit fruit and then the c notes and then yep as you say the bay leaf you know bay leaf right away if you if you smell it like on from the leaf you don't smell much all right but when you cook it you know when you cook with it and you put in the curry and stuff it extracts that that sort of uh, aromatic uh, components you know it, it tenderizes it you know like give, aro makes your meat aromatic the cur curry aromatic but not in a curry way this is pretty sort of like a interesting note they put in it so that's i think mixed with ambergris which is not ambergris, ambroxan, which is very evident in Sauvage. As you know, Sauvage is a ambroxan on steroids, right? So this one, also they put ambroxan, right? So it seems like a secret ingredient that works really fine. Very beautiful, bright opening, very strong projects like crazy, stays on like crazy. Longevity on this is very, very good. People who own this, I don't believe this one has been reformulated. This one's still in its original form, right? So those who own Invictus, they know performance is great. If you talk about winter, summer, any season. So performance is great. I would give this a 9.5 out of 10 because 10 is reserved for Ultramol, right? So pretty good. Projection is very, very good as well. I think it will project very nicely. If you, let's say, in the, stand in a hall room and then there's air conditioning and stuff, it works really nicer in the bit cooler weather, air, breeze. You know, if some breeze is flowing and stuff, you see the leaves moving in the tree. Or in the hallway, there's nice air conditioning in the car, in the hall. Is This fragrance will carry to other snows. And people will be looking, searching for you. Who is wearing this? Another good thing. The next good thing is, this has some secret ingredient. This is, many people happen to see, they use it like cheek magnet. <laughs> it's, a, it, it's kind of like a bad term. like. Um, but this one definitely, definitely attracts female attention. All right? Because I believe females would like to wear something like this. On their own skin and then one of those scents that they don't mind smelling it on males all right very youthful vibe that's why people in the middle age, middle age who are a fan of egoist chanel's egoist or i have seen few reviewers who are on the mature side you know no disrespect today i saw lex Ellis, one of my favorite re reviewers i'll put his channel's link in my description box he was putting this is one of the most hated fragrances of his list 10 list as well as Dior own perform. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> but then, you know, I respect that guy. I respect his nose. He's the funniest guy. And, you know, he is one of the funniest guys in the YouTube community. And he is, like, dead honest, you know. So I saw this, you know, I'm like, oh, 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 what are you doing, buddy? You know, but then I saw where he's coming from. You know, he is looking for that magic in the fragrance. But to me, what fragrance does also is important. Compliments and whatnot, it's also important. So basically, yeah. He hates it, I love it, okay? This is one of my most complimented scents. One of the strongest contenders for compliments. Sure thing, if you want to go on a date or you're going for, um, if you're, you know, young, clubbing, shooting pools, parties, you know, if you're going for a casual as well as, I think, romance, if you're going for romance means, you know, mm, so movie dates and stuff. You can wear this with friends, your girl, and then, you know, it, this is a fragrance that reminds me of a movie. I watched this like a long time back in my university days. It's called Crazy and Beautiful, all right? If you guys haven't watched it, maybe you guys watch it. Very much reminds me of that movie. And then I think, um, what else? There are a few other movies, you know? She's she's all that, you know? Yep. Those kind of movies, you know, chick flicks and something. You know, movie, you know, Netflix and chill. Yes, this one reminds me of that. Then the secret ingredient I told you turns girls on i'm telling you right away i'm not gonna go around beat around the bush and stuff this one turns on the girls the girls get turned on by the stuff like uh, young girls or the, the girls who are looking to smell something you know bad boyish you know if you think of ch man the sweetness you know the ch man has the sugar cane this one has that sweetness a little bit of saltiness and aquatic so ladies love the combination of a little bit freshy touch of freshy with the sweetness not as cloying or not as ladylike with one million or maybe ultramol some people find feminine 
this one I think is a bit more manly. It's a bit more animalic in a way. Like it's a wolf. Yep. Alpha male wolf. That kind of guy scent. Signature scent worthy. And for the price you pay, I think you can get it discounted at this point. Many countries. I'm not quite sure about Malaysia. I got about 20% on this because I bought it from my trusted shop. If you find it discounted, buy it and buy the big bottle. My recommendation absolutely. Alright. So one freak, one thing, the other side, okay, other side of the story. What are the things to hate about it? You know, I must talk about it a little bit, right? Uh, this fragrance, you know, not liked by few, many people, not few, many people. If you go to Fragrantic, you'll see the dislike bar is way higher. And then there's like like, and then love is very little, right? So I, I, I thought about it. I'm like, okay, what could be the reason? The first reason that came to my mind was, um, you know, this is not a fragrance uh, of a thing of a beauty like you know if you think of artistic fragrance that has top note it transforms into something else and you know it gives you that artistic aspect you think of poetry literature you know and you can uh, enjoy every single like Chanel Alurum just an example Chanel Alurum original Alurum the Chanel Alurum opens with peach very sort of crystal like breakdown up from that point onwards and then you're gonna get like those other notes and then it's like a pyramid you can feel this one, it's not so much of artistic. The, the, you know, it's like the art, artistic aspect of it, it's not in this. You cannot wear this. You can wear this in the office. But then, you know, if you are uh, in the higher rank, if you're a senior employee and you're like around 40 and you're rocking this, you can definitely rock it. Fathers can rock it. I've seen one guy said his dad loves this fragrance and he was like 65. So go figure, right? So something lov lovable in this, but then, you know, Sometimes when you look for that kind of fragrance, serious, manly, egoist, Chanel, platinum egoist. For example, I just show you one. This one I'm gonna do a retake again. This is one of my absolute favorite fragrances. This is not your typical, you know, sweet and then mainstream fragrance. This is, has a lot of elements in it to talk about. And then, you know, people with a mature taste, they love this. Those who hate this, they love this kind of fragrance. Just an example very manly you can wear this is also another versatile fragrance but you can wear this in formal if you're going with suit and tie maybe um, and you're wearing this people might think you are the joker from batman right you are wearing formal but then you know you're a funny guy you are a bad boy so maybe tuxedo or maybe something like a blazer not tuxedo blazer if you're wearing a blazer and you're going there you know parties and stuff like a little bit cooler weather picking up girls and talking to them flirting with them hitting on them yeah so many grown-up people, they don't like that aspect. They're like, damn, no. This is synthetic mess, sweetness. But then also, you know, this is not their taste. Understand? Respect, okay? But those four people who are looking for a fragrance, for compliments, for a date, for performance, projection, and then you, you, I recommend you go with how many sprays? One, two, let's just go. One, two, okay? Three, four, five. I don't usually spray this, I treasure this, but in Malaysia, I'm going in January, I'm gonna get full bottle of this, I think. Oh yeah. If you do that, and if you do maybe one on arm, each arm and stuff, maybe five to six sprays, you're gonna be good to go. You're gonna be the God. You're gonna be the God that, that like the model, you know, is holding the trophy. And I think I call this a wingman scent, okay? I'm gonna call this because it looks like wings, right? This is your trusted buddy. If you're looking for compliments and you don't want to choke people, and then you know it has that effect sometimes people might feel like it's a bit too powerful but for youthful people young people yep my recommendation so my longevity and projection i told you i gave it 9 9.9.5 okay compliments 10 out of 10 and for the overall mark for this fragrance i'm going to give this 9.5 0.5 reduced because of ultramol this is not as potent as ultram ultramol but very good contender Easily, if it don't say 9.5, it's a 9. All right, so basically, yeah, that's my coverage for Invictus. And I think from the house of Pakuraban, you don't buy 1 million anymore because that's more like a you know skin scent. And in the preview, I have smelled it, didn't seem that special. Or even the Invictus Aqua of this, I didn't find it. Mm -mm. So, one last thing before I go, you know, this um, funny thing I want to mention to you. To us, the people who live in the hotter zones, right? You know, we're thinking we need something that, you know, to kill people, choke people. You know, while the Westerners, you know, the European people, Canadian people, you know, states, they're saying, we don't want to like, you know, imp you know, like overpower people. We need something to tone, something toned down because it's cooler there. 
okay so for them they need something toned down on the other side here we are we are like give us something give us something <sighs> what you pump you pump so give us something ultra mild. why you love that because our fragrances don't last in this part of the world the heat kills it your winter chill cold that sort of weather is beautiful for the fragrance to give out the best outcome and best projection and best dry down for those people living in our side of the country look into invictus all right if you're looking for a fragrance that is strong at the same time smells nice and perform and you know like like casual you know you can just spray it on without thinking you know about how many sprays and whatnot you know everything look into invictus one of the solid contenders in the sweet segment with a touch of bay leaf a little bit of citrus and then you know fruitiness a little bit of grapefruit up, up top and then you know a little bit uh, i think in the dry down you get a little bit floral yeah floral fruity salty aquatic sweet fragrance all right so there you go invictus from the house of pakuraman so i hope to talk to you soon guys and then uh, do let me know what you feel about this fragrance if you hate it it's all right and uh, you know do let me know if you like this hate this how do you rate it hope talk to you soon guys all right see you bye bye